back at it. Just pulled up to the airport. It is Sunday night. Thinking not really doing much this week till Thursday. I'm gonna have to DJ, so hit up my friend Buzz and we booked a flight an hour ago to go to Utah. We're gonna go to Salt Lake, get some skiing in, see what happens. It's supposed to snow 14 inches. Haven't been out since Christmas, so we're just kinda getting after it. So last minute Delta flight, economy comfort. So the only awkward part about filming this whole episode is gonna be that I gotta go up here and I gotta film down here. This guy is just much taller than me, but we're gonna make it happen. All right, board this plane. See you in Utah. All right, it's a long ass flight. Brutal fight. Brutal fight. I watched The Star is Born. Also, the original. Weird choice. Didn't help the brutalness of the flight. How you feeling emotionally? <laughs> I'm feeling pretty emotionally strong right now. Hannah's career pops off because of me. <laughs> Might have to take a hit. You know what to do. You know what to do. It's just basically a guidebook for that. Yep. Bam. General PSA here. We're using Silver Car. I've never used it. You have. But it's, it never even surges, right? It's just regular prices all the time. And only Audis. Is this us? No. Yeah. Ski Rack? Yeah. Mid flight, got a text from our boy Max, who. Uh, joining us tomorrow at 9 a.m. Joining us. Just sent over the old flight conf. Booked his flight. 6 a.m. Two minutes, take notes. Take notes, people. You want to get uh, ambitious and join these ski trips. We got openings. Boys trip! Woo! <laughs> First course of action, though. Need some food. Struggle is real on the plane. I flew economy. That guy just bossed it up and got some... Uh, business class but I don't know if I mentioned this already we booked our ticket at 1.30 p.m. today it's now 9 p.m. pulling up here so pretty last minute unnourished necessary first stop <sighs> in and out nothing better S extremely satisfied Oh yeah, on the road. There's the base. Woo. All right, Monday morning, kicking off the week. Buzz Wiggins just woke up in the middle of the snow. Aggressive move, but amazing one. Rent me some skis and I'm try and pick the locals' brains. See what the locals are saying. See what the snow looks like. Yeah, we don't really know what the uh, optimal mountain move is here, but how many mountains within range here? Like seven. Seven mountains within range. So, it's going to pick and choose our battle. All right. All right, so quick background here. Buzz and I met in New York in 2009? 2009, 10 years ago. 10 years ago, and... Uh, you know, Buzz comes from Sheraton, Wyoming, which is which is a very small town. How many people? Not as small as yours, but 17,000 right now. Wow. Yeah, not as small, but small. 17,000, but there's literally nothing for two hours in the direction. <laughs> Fair. There's, there's another town that's like 5,000. <laughs> so we're over there. Um, so we met and got introduced through an old ski friend of mine somehow. So we put together quickly that we both skied. And this now, uh, second ever ski trip. Second ever ski trip. We Somehow ran into each other last year in Jackson Hole, and had a pretty great time, if I do say so myself. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, we just impromptu. I've had a busy winter so far. Buzz is, uh, you know, newly 
free. It was from free. straight off of injury. It's straight off injury, yeah, ankle injury. This will be day uh, day one with the good news. You had, you had a pin in there? No, no pin, just taking a bunch of stuff out. Oof. Chips and spurs and stuff. So, yeah, annual trip for sure. No question. No question. Um, so we're gonna get fitted for some skis. Buzz comes prepared as you can see with those ones right there. But uh, this guy doesn't travel with skis, he travels light. And uh, yeah, let's get it. I never skied at these places, but this guy's been around, so a bit of a guide situation. Okay, so we got the new mod, the mod trip buzz in. So 177. So they're a little bit shorter. Mercedes, thank Bye. you. Bye. We appreciate you. All right, there you go. Mercedes, been following since she lived in New York and went to fashion school. You know? Got the hookup. All right, recent addition to the trip. Reese? Recent. Oh, I thought you said Reese. I was like, get I know, out here, get Reese. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Max Spoils from long ago episodes. Good to be back. He's back, but he still can't ski. No, no, no. I brought my blades. Oh, you brought... Your reason. game has stepped nice up. Nice lettuce, bud. Thanks, man. Got the chop out. It's Salad. Canadian for hockey. Hockey hair. Salad, Salad, lettuce. Top cheese. Gonna go top cheese, top mountain there, eh, bud? Puck bunnies. Puck bunnies. Not only did we just had to go to Snowbird, but we pulled up. This is the lodge. This is us. Somehow skimmed into the best damn parking spot here. It's because we asked. Could have parked two miles down there with everyone else. Sometimes life just works out, you know? Guys, I'm excited. Excuse my French. Ready there, bud? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> under 24 hours ago. I was sitting on my couch in New York and booked a ticket. You can do this too. Booked a ticket on points, $5.40. <laughs> <Fuck. laughs> Full smile gang. Oh my God. The chances that we lost Max Samus are yeah. 100%. Fun scheme of friends, but some friends aren't just quite as good as other friends, so. Sorry, Maxie. Sorry, Maxie. We'll but damn. Look at this place. Oh my god. This might have been the single greatest move I've ever pulled in a march. Unbelievable. In a long time. Since last march in Jackson. And by the way, we're doing this really affordably. Silver cars, mad cheap. I booked on points. We got a friend to give us their house because they're not here this weekend. All last minute working out. And this is just fucking paradise. Max! <laughs> Where are you? Maxie! <laughs> you gotta do stuff like this in your life though. Absolutely. Spur of the moment. Live your life. We all work hard. Anyone does. You guys, us. But you gotta take these moments just to celebrate for all the hard work you put in. Can you walk me through yesterday sitting on the couch booking this? <laughs> like how much of a just slug that I just Not gonna was like, lie, Ugh. I was a little hungover from dinner the night before. But it was totally worth it, fresh mountain air. All right. Heavy. Yes. We just blasted eight laps 
Right back behind us there. Right back over here. Literally no one touching it. Don't know what the hell's wrong with people over here, but thank God. A little, little bit of snow on the gear here. <laughs> a couple of face shots. A couple diggers. But uh, what a day. This is just like monumental move. Monumental move. I might cry. That was so good. Yo, actually though, whew, we said eight runs of untracked powder on mountain lift access. It eight doesn't minutes happen. a lap. Like. Eight, eight minutes a lap max. Oh, with the chair. Unbelievable. Snowbird, baby. Never been here before, but Buzz, thank you. Absolutely. This the move. We might be uh, sliding in some cat tomorrow, though. At least we're not this guy trying to find our other ski. Tough balance. Look at this thing you know, right there. Life is... There's the ski. Life is real for that guy right now. Oh, oh. hiker, That's hiker. Brutal. All right, time for some apre. It's kind of a silver bullet up in this body. How about a hell yeah for today? Bam. About growing a little lip sweater. Really? Lip? I feel like you could get hell a hell of a day. Uh, Only way to end it. <laughs> Courtesy of Coors Light, who sponsored. did not sponsor this. Still, somehow, somehow, still work how, their way into our. Career. How we don't have a sport? Can, <laughs> Coors Light, can you just hit us up, all three of us, please? How much more content? We're skiing the Rockies. We're tasting the damn Rockies. We're born in the Rockies, some of us. Stop one, where? Stop one, booze, Coors Lights, Aperol Spritz, Aperol Spritz, tequila. Stop two, breakfast. Stop three, eggs, bacon. Yeah. Stop three. Hot tub. Speedos. I'm mean into stop three. Speedos. <laughs> you bring your speed up? Obviously. <laughs> Extremely successful sash. That's right. We win. <laughs> In a last minute move, we're not only getting some groceries, but somehow got the three last seats on a helicopter tomorrow to go skiing. And so 24 excited. eggs? What are you yeah. getting? What? We're here, We're here for two nights. What? We're here for two nights. How many eggs are you trying to? Brought to you by Tropicana. Just everything we're buying is just a sponsor. Um, should we get some nachos? Quick side note, Buzz and I used to go out for drinks a lot in New York. Still do, actually. Yeah. But when we started, we got some gin and tonic. What, you, what the? Dude, it's up with your sugar content. We gotta talk about your diet, bro. Can I just tell you that cinnamon bears don't exist in New York? Cinnamon bears? No, they don't have them. That's what these are? Yes. I can only get them when I come out west. Leave me alone. I don't even know what they here. are. All right, Anyhow. so we used to, you know, back to our regular program. We used to go out for uh, drinks. And still do. Still do. Hopefully. Buzz is big into gin and tonics, and every time we drank them, we uh, thought about a lot of new ideas and opportunities, and it created opportunities, so we renamed it. The so. Opportunity. If you're going to a local bar near you, order gin and tonic. But say, can I please have an opportunity? And then tell them it's big in Europe. <laughs> and then you'll have to explain what it is because <laughs> no one knows what it means, which is what happens every single time we yeah. go out. I don't know about these cocktails. Q. Q. Look, man, we got you a snack. You are a delight. Cheers. You came right back. Mm hmm. Cheers. Bam. Thank you. Muddled cucumber or not, my friend. Ooh, Chin and tonic is a pleasure. It's uh, 7.20 a.m. Subbed out Dan for Max. Max for Dan. Heli skiing today. Pretty tired right now. How excited. Oh, Quiet Dan strikes again. Most fun guy on video. I actually got excited. <laughs> Dan, every time this happens, he just he's <laughs> so quiet. Buzz, we're killing it. Oh my god. So we got out here yesterday, obviously skied the mountain, and then today, no fresh snow overnight, so we thought it'd be pretty good to try and get a spot doing some heli tour. Gave a little call. Got the last three spots, got the dopest guide. Guy skied more than anyone out here, so we're pretty stoked. My first heli ever. Today's gonna be legendary. Yeah!
halfway through the day. Pretty amazing up here. Just nothing but fresh snow. Don't know if there's a better way to be hitting the mountain. Unbelievable. We literally just pull up in the helicopter. Guy looks for a peak and he's like, let's go there. We just drop in. So if you ever get the chance, this is definitely the move. All right, that was one hell of a day to uh, just pull up, have three of your friends come meet you all last minute in under 24 hours, and then snake a heli skiing day with last three seats available. Now fill up with gas, go to the store, eat dinner, have a hot tub. What's better than this? I don't really know. Positive vibes, people. Positive vibes. All right, so this trip comes to an end. Packing up the cars. Bye to the boys. Tough to leave right now. We're getting a lot of fresh snow, but gotta get back to work tomorrow in New York and don't wanna be stranded, so. Trip of epic proportions. And uh, coming again soon. Annual. Right, Maxi? Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> Shh.